uh, my concern is that when people are desperate, they do desperate things. New at 6, outrage and demanding answers tonight for the first time and only on 12 News. The Racine County Sheriff speaks out about the inmate escapee who put the community in danger. That man, Jesus Arroyo, spent several hours on the run after slipping away from authorities. Good evening, I'm Kathy Michael B. And I'm Craig McKee. Only on 12, Hillary <laughs> Mentz tells us why the sheriff is so angry. This type of thing should not happen. Racine County Sheriff Christopher Schmaling was in Washington, D.C. Monday when he learned Jesus Arroyo, a convicted felon with a history of escaping once before, slipped away again. Uh, my first concern is the safety of the community. Uh, to hear that we had this person at large, uh, my concern is that when people are desperate, they do desperate things. No one was hurt during the 10 hour manhunt for Arroyo, but Schmaling is upset an inmate with a violent past escaped from a Department of Corrections sergeant. 12 News has repeatedly contacted the DOC, but they're not commenting on the escape to us or to the sheriff. I want to know what the policy is for the Department of Corrections. We have a strong policy here at the Racine Sheriff's Office on how we do business, and we don't have, a, we don't have issues like this. While we were talking to the sheriff, an officer was dropping off an inmate. There's a moment of time now the officer has literally not even put the car in park yet, and the door is already shutting behind him. Monday, Schmaling says before the door closed, the sergeant let the inmate out of the van and Arroyo took off. I have serious questions as to why this person operated the way they did. This is what the suspect was wearing handcuffs and then a belly chain that goes around his waist. But what he didn't have on, leg restraints. That is why we have leg irons and we have handcuffs with, with belly chains so that it really prohibits uh, large moves such as running or. The sheriff says the community deserves an explanation and assurance from the DOC this will never happen again. In Racine, Hillary Mintz, WISN 12 News. And the sheriff also tells us he hopes the Department of Corrections uses this mishap to examine or change their prisoner transport policies.